So here is our resulting step test. This will give us the, an idea of where the maximum density of the paper is. And if we take a close look, you can kind of see that uh, it's light at the bottom and it gets darker at the top. You can still see that there's a slight amount of separation between our no negative and negative. And this is at seven minutes. So what I'm gonna do is use eight minutes for our exposure time, just to make sure we get a little bit more light through there so that it goes as black as possible. And once we know that time, we're gonna now print a step test, which has a wide range of, of values that I generated on the computer. And that'll give us a good idea of what the print is able to deliver from, based on what uh, we're telling it to do from the computer. So now that we've determined that eight minutes is our correct exposure for our albumin paper, I'm gonna take a half sheet of paper, because the step test is only about five inches, so I'm gonna take one sheet and cut it in half. And here's the digital negative of the step test that was created in the, in the computer. And so I'm just gonna contact print those for eight minutes and develop them just like normal. Once it's been developed and dried, then we'll go ahead and take it into the computer, get it scanned, and start to talk about how we can create the step curve. So I just finished exposing our step test. Now that it's been exposed, we're gonna take this and we're gonna take it through the process just like we normally do. And it's really important that with the step test that you don't cut any corners. It's really important that you do the full five minutes in the wash, uh, the, per the full five minutes in each of the two fixing steps, and then also uh, at least three minutes in the hypo remover, and then the full you know, 15 to 30 minutes in the wash. If you try to cut steps, and you don't fix it for the full amount of time, some of the bleaching and the highlights is gonna happen during those steps. And so you're gonna get uh, a reading that's gonna tell us that there's more value in the highlights than there really is. So it's really important that you do it just like you would process a normal print. So let's get this in the water and get started. So I've gone ahead and finished washing our initial step test and you can kind of take a quick look at it on here. It's a little bit hard to see with the light, but you'll notice this is pretty typical in the, in the prints. Um, you know, we, we don't have a lot of differentiation in these values, even all the way down to almost 50. It's just barely starting to get a little bit of value there. And that's kind of typical uh, because the, the, the highlights have a tendency to kind of block up. So once we've made our step test and we've determined how much, you know, value we're starting to get on here and where we need th those separations to start to occur, we're going to get uh, a much fuller range of values. And we'll really take a close look at those you know, on the computer a little bit more closely and compare those once we've um, printed out one with our correction curve. 